www.cubnlive.com All right, what we got on the news today? Three reasons the transgender movement makes no sense. My friends, Adrian and Nakia sponsored a party in their home in May to announce the sex of their baby. Everyone was in suspense until the proud couple revealed the result of the ultrasound test. They opened a big box and three blue balloons popped out. Surprise, it's a boy. Everyone cheered. Every day expectant couples celebrate when they discover the gender of their unborn babies. Yet today we have educators, psychiatrists, and politicians who believe it is wrong to label children boys or girls. Our culture has gone crazy. One school district in Charlotte Charlton, North Carolina has recommended that principals and counselors simply refer to children as students or scholars instead of using gender specific terms. The rational suggests that calling a sixth grade boy a boy could result in bullying. If he decides to identify as a girl instead of helping this troubled child embrace his masculinity we are supposed to encourage him to explore his options and point him down a path of transgender confusion educated people with lots of letters after their names are coming up with these absurd policies and the pressure is on the total change that way we label gender instead of the traditional options of male and female that have worked well for humans beings for thousands of years we now have a rainbow of choices transgender by gender gender fluid and gender queer Facebook offers its users 58 different ways to describe a person's gender including neither and intersex sounds crazy huh <laughs> don't you dare question it they get ya we are expected to expect accept this orthodox attitude because it's progressively inclusive and if you challenge the transgender movement or dare to label gender confusion as a psychological disorder, you will be demonized as a cruel hate monger. Um, amazing how they put laws into stuff. It's time for the rational, rational, the rational people to cry foul before this lunacy gains more traction. This is not just an attack on family values, it's an attack on basic intelligence. Here are three simple reasons the logic of transgender activ activists is faulty. Number one, mm -mm. gender is a biological reality, not just an emotional feeling. Last year, an Oregon woman named Rachel Dolezal was exposed as a fraud because she claimed she was African American, even though she was born to white parents. Dozal even became a local leader of the NAACP until her elaborate scam, elaborate scam unra unraveled. She told NBC Matt Lauer, I identify as black. But she was laughed off the national stage because everybody knows you can't change your race just because you want to. DNA determines race. You can't become black. Mm -mm -mm. So why don't we apply the same scientific standards to gender? 
Today's code of pub political correctness says if you were born a woman, but you know, you now feel you are a man, you can use the men's restroom and change your official gender identity. But if a woman can become a man, what's next? Someone will decide they want to defy the laws of science and change it from human to some species of animal. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> that was number one. All right. Here's number two. Gender must be affirmed. I don't know what people are smoking these days, but something has clouded the judgment of educators who think children should be encouraged to explore their gender possibilities. While gender is genetically inborn, a boy must be trained to be a man. A girl must be trained to be a woman. Parents play a huge role in developing gender identity in their children. We live in a fallen world. Thus, people are suspected, sus, sus, <laughs> susex, susex, susceptible to gender confusion. I was so confused on that word. <laughs> Sexual abuse, bullying, shaming, lack of parental nurture, nurture, and many other facts can cause a child or teenager to question their maleness or femaleness. Yet, if a person with gender confusion gets counseling and encouragement, they can overcome their emotional scars. Mm -mm -mm. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The opposite is also true. If you withhold training from a child, he or she will wander in a confused state and never reach their potential. An educator who encourages a child to explore his or her gender options deserves an F for poor performance on the job. Amen to that. Number three. Gender fluidly is a hoax. Gender fluidity is a hoax. Mm -mm -mm. Secularists view the Bible as archaic, ar archaic, archaic, and irre irrelevant. So they ignore the fact that the first chapter of Genesis says God created mankind as male and female. Genesis 1 27. But in the past, even non Christians believed in what America's founding fathers called the laws of natural and the natural nature's God. Some things are just plain obvious when you look at scientific reality. But when people rage against God and rebel against his laws, they become really dumb. Educators today have adopted the wacky idea that gender is fluid and changeable. Even though science does not, doesn't support this, if a man decides he is really a woman inside, he is urged to follow former athlete Bruce Jenner, <laughs> who got breast implants, took hormones, and started wearing makeup and became a reality TV star, Kat Caitlyn Jenner. His choice is applauded by our culture, and those who say he's emotionally troubled are viewed as hateful and bigoted. <laughs> the Apostle Paul wrote that intelligent people who reject God's truth will eventually believe ridiculous things. Romans 1, 22 says of them, professing to be wise, they became fools. I pray we will not allow our schools and communities to be hijacked by foolish people who deny God, science, and common sense. Come on, people. Jay Lee Gladney is the former editor of Church Charisma.
Grizzly. You can follow him on Twitter at Malika Brady. He is the author of several books, including 10 Lives of Chuck Telephone. Transgender movement really does not make any sense. <laughs> In Jesus' name. <laughs>